This is the official first stop of our dumpling tour and our search for the best dumplings in New York City. Yeah! We've got two, well, we've got two dumpling experts, a dumpling amateur. A lot, a lot of experience. And <laughs> we are starting in Chinatown, a place that we already know is good, so they're gonna be our control dumpling. So let's get in there. here for since I was a little kid. We used to come here in the middle oh, of the that, night. Oh, was that 10 years ago? About 10 years ago. <laughs> we used to come here at 4 o'clock in the morning to have Chinese food all <laughs> ripped out and stoned. Oh. <laughs> so today is going to be the first stop in our quadruply of stops tasting dumplings in Manhattan to find the best dumpling. This is our control group. Yes. So here are our control dumplings. I'm gonna do this one. So you see the dough ratio. We've got a large dough ratio, which we like. Consistency. And they put it in this like in the sauce, some kind of dumpling sauce. Which is good. Choose your dumpling. Good consistency. Go half, don't get the whole thing. Let's see the inside. I need to get the dough so I can do it. One one for the video, so one for us. Look at that, you get the dough. You get a really good portion of meat in here, which we love. Yeah. And we're big fans. I like a doughy dumpling. I like there to be like half and half. So, let's see. Thank you. It's so fresh. I mean, you saw them, we have footage of them making these, like literally right next to us. Fantastic. So fresh. Fantastic. It's incredible. It's gonna be- Perfect. It's gonna be- Perfect. Perfect. A little chop it's gonna be hard to top this. This is our control, so we're matching everything to this. So you can't beat this. There's not gonna be one spot that's better than this. <laughs> I don't know, Tom. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's just so like perfect. It's perfectly cooked. The meat is flavored, seasoned perfectly. I would give the presentation a what did I say seven two. Tasted in a nine nine two fuck, nine two. Ratio is 10 out of 10. I don't know if anyone's going to beat that ratio, to be honest, so yeah. we'll see. That, that says it all. <laughs> Empty plates. Empty plates. That says it all. The queen herself is here. Riri. <laughs> Ace Rocky and Riri. <laughs> Next stop. Next stop. Next stop. Beautiful. Stop number two. Stop number two, Vanessa's Dumpling House. They just brought in a tour of about 25 so people it's here. It's gotta be really good. It's gonna be cool. So, yeah, we got um, chive and pork. Gonna compare it to Wohop, and we'll go from there. It's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> Should I try this? Tell us, tell us what it is. What is it? Tell the people at mm -hmm. home. It's a sesame pancake sandwich. Try it. <laughs> it looks like a pizza. Try yeah, it. It's like fried dough. Let's get a close up. No so, sauce. So no presentation, sauce. I'm gonna go four. Four. No I sauce. didn't look good. No, no sauce. sauce. No, I go five. <laughs> Show them it's a good ratio. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't get it. Completely good. different. Completely different. Much it's more spice. Five, right? Yeah, much so. more spice. I'll be the judge. It's good. I give that an, an eight five. In taste. I give what about ratio? Five. I think it could be a bit Actually, better. But I'd argue that at least they're giving you a lot of meat. Yeah. So ratio of seven to five. Very good. I like it. The you know, dough is really good. I like the dough on this one. Presentation, I'll go six eight. It looks like you can get this plain, which we did, or you can get vegetables. There's an egg sandwich of this, which would be interesting to try. 
some chicken, ham and egg. That would be good. Ham yeah, so you can almost tough. you can almost make yeah. this a breakfast sandwich yeah. or like an actual sandwich. Mine. Yep. Next stop. Thank you, Vanessa's. man in Lo Lower East Side, I would say, it's St. Mark's place. Very nice people. Very nice. It's actually, there's quiet. Work, yeah, quiet it's pretty for quiet, so I'm surprised. Lunchtime. But I think it's going to be really good. You would call yourself a dumpling connoisseur, Connoisseur right? in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> in a Hawaiian shirt. Of course. So we're going to see how this stacks up. And pork dumplings on, and oh, yeah, pork we got, buns on the side. We got pork bao buns, and then we got the just the standard pork dumpling. So we'll check in. I am thoroughly excited to check out the Dumpling Man's entry into this race. Is the Dumpling Man a match for the Dumpling Is he the man? man? Is he the man? Steamed pork dumplings from the Dumpling Man. The sauce is on the side. The dough ratio looks good to me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Very big. Say. Very big. So do a half. Yeah. You know, eat half of it. Yeah. So let's see the inside. Here we go. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this meat. I mean, the meat fell out of mine, but like. They're huge. Look at that. It's huge. That's half. Huge. Mm -hmm. Pork bun, bow bun. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. Delicious. Yep. This place is serious. Very good. They might be a winner. They might be a winner. The price of presentation, I would give it. Oh, I would give it eight. An eight presentation. I'd give it an. A high nine for quality. And ratio. I'll give it a high. Ratio is enormous. It's almost all meat. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. And overall, I would give it a nine get, seven. Yeah, I mean, this is. This might be the best. <laughs> dumpling man might be the man. The, the dumpling man. He might be the man. He's Cheers. That was amazing. The place killed Vanessa's. He is the man. But then it killed Vanessa's. Don't worry Vanessa about. is really trailing by a wide margin so far. But Vanessa, I would say Vanessa's. We ordered the steamed, and they really weren't steamed. No, so they were kind of half fried. They were like half fried. So that's something. And they weren't that, as big. Yeah, that's something to consider. Not even close. Not you know, even what we're doing is we're ordering on each menu. We're trying to order the most consistent yes. across the board. So, yep. you know, that's what you have to go off of. We got uh, steamed dumplings. Well, no, we got, they're like steamed soup dumplings. We got this because this is the most comparable, probably, to the other ones because they really only do hot stickers, is what I would say. So, between these two, we should have a pretty good read on what the situation is. From my standpoint, they're much too commercial. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like traditional Chinese dumplings and so forth. It's a little too commercial for me yeah. so far. But we'll see. Okay. A uh, little small. Pretty good consistency. There's soup in there, I think, no? Not a lot in there, but dough. Mostly chicken and dough. There we go. Taste is fair. Certainly fair. Nowhere online with the okay, dumpling Okay, but try man. that one. So uh, these are the pot stickers. Okay. 
Consistency is a little wavy. That's good. We like that. Yeah. These are seared. These are, are you can get them fried or seared. So I did seared. Which meat is the others? Not bad though. Not bad. Not, not bad, but it's not, not bad. like the others. Reasonably good for the Midtown Manhattan. But not the leader, that's for sure. Not the leader. No. Try this first. I think the dough is very good. The wrapper is very good. I would say a little more dough than meat ratio. Solid. Take the solid dumpling. Actually, I actually think that one has more flavor. What do you think? The well, soup dumpling one? It was okay, but what would you rate it out of 10? I might go 6 Okay, plus, you know what? No, no. Six, I would five. go... These, I'd give a 6. I think these are pretty much ab 5. These are an average. Yeah. We've completed our dumpling tour of the day. Go through the rankings. I would rank Rohop number 1 by far. I agree. Dumpling Man was fantastic. Close. Dumpling Man's close behind Wohop. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would do Vanessa's. It was good. And uh, this Brooklyn Dumpling is so-so. I could, You could leave that alone. I wouldn't... You don't need to go there. What I'd argue, though, is the Brooklyn Dumpling shop. It's, it's obviously a lot more commercial, you know, if you're looking for just that quick grab and go not like super authentic you know that type of thing i would recommend there and then also they have a lot of crazy flavors that we didn't try because we're trying to stay consistent but i would bet their crazy flavors were probably pretty good so but yeah i would say across the board wohop number one if you haven't been to wohop in chinatown gotta go. you have to go gotta go and then dumpling man have to go amazing absolutely very good so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little tour if you like this we'll do a part two there's by the way there's a uh, can cannabis store right down the block from dumpling man just if you need a little pick me up all righty <laughs> <laughs> Th thanks for letting them know but if you like this we can do a part two there's so many places in the city you know we just did a little a little tour of the ones that we've heard are the best so far so Give me a like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.